In a previous video, I had bought two MacBook Pros on eBay with the intent to sell them, or at least the working one and use the other one for parts. The seller said that one of these laptops worked fine, the other, however, didn't power on. And to my surprise, when they came in the mail, I began testing them and discovered that the dead laptop actually did work. No. <gasps> oh, it lit up. Partially. It was liquid damaged in a way that the screen didn't work, but the video port on the side of the MacBook did work. Also interesting, as soon as you plug this thing in or unplug it, it turns on. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Water sure does strange things to electronics. But anyways, because it would never work like a proper laptop ever again, I didn't want to waste it, so I decided to do an NES swap and turn it into a custom Mac Mini. Then it was time to tear down the Nintendo, and this one was broken and didn't output any video, so it became a good candidate for the swap. and I used a gang box cover as the mounting plate for the motherboard. These are really cheap and you can pick them up at just about any hardware store. Now it's time to mark things up and cut the NES shell to fit the MacBook motherboard.
I decided to use a Raspberry Pi screw to mount the board to the box cover, and I know I'm only using one, but when you close the NES shell on top, it should sandwich it in place.
and sadly the only video cable I have won't fit in my Alienware monitor, so I had to dig out this old Asus one. And would you look at that. But the Wi-Fi doesn't work for some reason, so I opened it back up and found that the connection came loose. There we go, now we got internet. Now there's some things that need to be said about this build. First off, when I had the idea for this project months ago, I didn't consider what would happen if you tried to run a MacBook without the battery in it. I already knew it would power on because I tested it, but I didn't extensively use it. I noticed the Mac was pretty slow when I booted it up in its new home for the first time, and after I did some research, I discovered that they actually run at a slower clock speed without the battery. Even if your battery doesn't hold a charge, you still need it in there for your MacBook to run at full speed. I could cut another hole in the back of the NES shell to fit the battery inside of it, but I don't want to waste a good battery on an already not very practical project that may not get a lot of use out of. If you were to ask me would I do this again, or if it's worth doing to your own broken MacBook, my answer would probably have to be no. Truthfully, the best way to go about turning a NES into a custom Mac Mini would probably be to just drop an actual Mac Mini straight into the NES shell. I mean, it'll fit in there anyways. I've been dying to do a NES swap for a long time, and I finally did it, and despite this not being the most practical project, it was still fun doing. And at the end of the day, that's what this shit's all about. Before I'd go, I'd like to get serious for a moment and announce that I'm opening my PayPal and Cash App for donations with Patreon not being too far out if you'd like to help fund projects and reviews. This was kind of a tough decision because I didn't want to accept donations without some kind of physical reward to the donators, but my recent financial situation has led me to do so. So a huge thank you in advance if you decide to donate. Seriously, I love you. And another huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed, liked, viewed, or even just clicked on a video to help make this channel happen. Even if you can't afford to donate or just don't want to, just clicking on a video or leaving a like is still satisfying enough for me. Those of you who have stuck around, I love all of you. Seriously, nothing feels better than when I read comments or live stream chats that say stuff like, I love your channel or compliments towards the content or editing. It's a dream come true to see people enjoying what I put out and I can't thank you all enough. With that out of the way, if you enjoyed this video and aren't subscribed yet, please remember to do so, leave a thumbs up down below also, and ring the notification bell so you're reminded when new content arrives. And remember to check out the previous video because I have a bunch of other Mac projects on the channel. And thanks for watching everyone.